Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop's Store Healthy Lifestyle Channel. Today, we're diving into something we all love, ice cream. But not just any ice cream, we're talking about the most dangerous and the healthiest options out there. If you're like me, you've probably indulged in a pint or two in your time. Believe me, I used to eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's every night for a year to help with my insomnia, thinking it was a treat. But guess what? That drowsiness I felt wasn't soothing me into sleep. It was a sugar coma. Crazy, right? Let's break down why some ice creams are the worst for your health while others are guilt-free treats you can actually enjoy. Let's start with the worst offender, Ben and Jerry's. You may love the flavor, but here's what you might not know. Just one pint of Ben and Jerry's contains about 147 grams of carbohydrates. That's around 35 teaspoons of sugar in one sitting. And that sugar overload isn't just bad for your waistline. It spikes your blood sugar, contributes to inflammation, and can leave you feeling sluggish and tired. So, while the taste may be heavenly, the impact on your body is far from it. Next up, we we have Brayers. It might seem like a healthier choice with fewer ingredients, but even their classic vanilla flavor is loaded with 84 grams of carbohydrates per pint. Plus, it contains high fructose corn syrup, which is even worse for your body than regular sugar. And don't even get me started on the seed oils. Mixing high fat with high carbs is a recipe for metabolic disaster, so be careful when you reach for that Brayers pint. Now, let's talk about so-called low-carb ice creams. You'd think these would be the perfect solution, right? Not always. Many keto friends friendly brands are filled with sugar alcohols and artificial sweeteners. Take Breyer's Carb Smart, for example. It uses maltitol syrup, which can cause major digestive issues in large amounts, plus questionable ingredients like soluble corn fiber. So even though it's marketed as keto, it might not be as healthy as you think. Then there's haagen a bit of a middle ground. The ingredients are simpler. Cream, milk, egg yolks, and natural flavorings. While it's not low carb, it does have fewer additives than some of the others. If you absolutely must have a conventional ice cream, this might be a slightly better option. Still, with around 34 teaspoons of sugar per pint, it's not exactly doing your body any favors. For a better option, look at truly keto-friendly brands like Rebel Ice Cream. Rebel uses monk fruit and erythritol to sweeten its ice cream, with zero grams of sugar per pint. The ingredients are much cleaner, cream, egg yolks, and natural fibers. It's a solid choice for anyone trying to keep their carbs low. But even with these healthier options, remember that moderation is key to many sugar alcohols can still cause digestive discomfort. And what about Simple Truth's frozen dessert? It's often marketed as keto-friendly, but it's not even real ice cream. This stuff is filled with sugar alcohols and fiber, which can leave you feeling bloated and uncomfortable if you eat too much. So while it's lower in sugar, it might not be the indulgence you're hoping for. The best ice cream you can enjoy is the one you make yourself at home. That way, you know exactly what's going into it. I've got two delicious recipes for you. The first is a low carb keto ice cream made with heavy cream, egg yolks, allulose, a great low carb sweetener, a pinch of sea salt, and vanilla flavoring. Just blend it all up, freeze for four to five hours, and you've got yourself a keto friendly treat. The second recipe is perfect for special occasions. Use organic cream, egg yolks, a bit of honey, sea salt, and pure vanilla. This one is a bit higher in carbs because of the honey, but it's still far healthier than the store bought sugar bombs. Mix everything together, either blend it or use an ice cream maker, and you'll have a natural delicious treat. So, what's the takeaway here? Not all ice creams are created equal. Some, like Ben and Jerry's, can wreak havoc on your health with insane amounts of sugar and additives. But with brands like Rebel or a simple homemade recipe, you can indulge without the guilt or the sugar spike. Always check the labels, avoid falling for tricky marketing like keto-friendly, and when possible, make your own with clean ingredients. Give these recipes a try and let me know how they turn out. By the way, if you're looking for an easy way to get started on a healthier path, check out out my book from XL to M in 15 days keto meal plan challenge. It's packed with delicious recipes and a proven plan to help you shed those extra pounds. The link is in the description below. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need this info. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.